Okay, today we're going to do a piece of tea bag art, and to save time, um, this is a used tea bag. I think this is a chamomile one. Um, a couple things about these tea bags: getting the stuff off of them afterwards is almost impossible. But uh, I've primed this one with clear gesso, and we're going to see. I haven't done this before. We're going to see if I can actually get um, background to print uh, on this tea bag from my jelly plate. So we're going to give it a whirl. So I'm going to use uh, matte finished acrylic paint and let's see what colors do I want think, um, well, let's try these two together we'll see how they do Uh, and I'm going to use this stencil. So we're just going to put Don't mind my desk. It's always like this. I can't We're going to put this, these are sort of cheaper brand. They're Simcoe Matte Acrylic Paint. This one is Fun Fuchsia. And we're going to put a bit on the jelly plate. And I don't want it to cover the whole thing. So, I'm just going to do that, and then rub some of this paint off. I'm just going to print that sort of stripey bit on the center. Okay, that's good. Uh, and this is a uh, I did an alcohol ink um, pull off of it yesterday in a video, so I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, in order not to waste the paint, I think I'm just going to put some of that on here. Oh, cool. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. I'll use that for something else. Okay, then, um, let me dry this real quick. <laughs> this video is just to show you something that you can do if you feel like you can't draw. But I'll do another video on a couple other options you can do um, when you think you can't draw. Um, I draw mine on a piece of scratch paper and then um, use carbon paper to transfer it to my tea bag because you can't erase on it. I've tried, it just doesn't work. So, and I never get what I want first time around, so I just draw it on scratch paper. But we'll see a couple different options to do it yourself with. Out having to draw the image. So let's just put this on here. I'm 
And this is just going to be a real quick video, I think. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. But now we need some black, I think. <clears throat> okay, so with the black, um, trying to think what do I want to put on there? I think I'll use this one. But I won't do it on the jelly plate. I'll do it through the stencil. Hopefully we can get some of that added on my black. Maybe. It's black. And because I'm so cheap, I use these makeup sponges. But if you rinse them out afterwards, you can use, keep using them. Because I was going through some, and I thought, well, this is crazy. So, I think that's pretty dry. So, we're going to go ahead and add black to it. <clears throat> and I find that when I'm um, going through a stencil with acrylic paint, you have to make sure that you ha don't have big globs on this, um, otherwise it um, seeps through the edges of the stencil, and you don't get a clean. Um, you don't get a clean transfer of the paint. I want to add we'll see how we do with text I don't usually have really good luck with text um, through this stencil because the stencil is so uh, the lettering is so small but we're gonna try Let's see if I can get something on here um, before I stamp my image and I think I'll do it in I'll do it in white. But I'm not holding out much hope here that it's going to be a decent transfer because I've tried this. It's one of my favorite um, stencils, but I have trouble with it. Oh, that's coming out pink. <coughs> Excuse me. I have allergies, so please forgive me for that. <coughs> All right, so let's give it a whirl. I don't know that we're going to get a very good transfer here. Yeah, see, it doesn't do well. Um, but I had, I'm guessing too much paint on there. So, oh, that'll be all right. Uh, I just never have luck with that one. Either it doesn't go through very well, or I put too much paint on the um, makeup sponge. So, we're going to dry that. <clears throat> And then 
I have the stamp set from Dina Wakely. Um, I love Dina Wakely art. So I'm going to do some stamping on it with this. <clears throat> Let's see, which one do I want? I think this one. And I want to do some wet coloring on this, so I'm using uh, Archival Ink Jet Black by Ranger. And she didn't come out real dark, but that's all right. We can fix that as we go along. So, then I'm going to think take out some acrylics and this and red. <clears throat> All right, we're just going to paint a bit here. So this is the Simcoe acrylic mat in flesh. Whoops, now we have some flesh paint on here. So we're just going to Rinse my brush. And because this is a tea bag, sometimes you can get this to come off, and that's not doing too bad. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't do too bad. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're going to look.
look at the stamped image so we can this is a Stedler pigment liner 0.05 it's um, waterproof so we're just going to look at it and try to get some of this detail back in This is all real scribbly. And now that I have just the, the uh, well, let's go over this. Okay, now that I have the base done on the face, um, I'm going to switch real quick to watercolor. <clears throat> and my watercolors are um, a Korean brand called Shinhan, and I really like them. Um, I couldn't afford, I wanted Daniel Smith, but anyway that was going to happen so um, I tried these and I'm actually quite happy with them so <clears throat> so I'm going to go to my watercolor brushes and go with some purple in here A little bit of shadow. And I'm just adding water to um, to tone it down a bit. And we'll put that color up around our eyes. Shading on the face.
And I think I'm going, I had some leftover gesso from a class that I took at the Brisbane uh, Scrapbook and Paper Craft Expo. So I'm just going to take some of that and put it in the eyes. I'm going to give her blue hair, I think. <clears throat> and just put some water up here to have it fade out. have to go back in and do that white again. I might do it with a Posca pen. Get some of this off her forehead. Okay, so I'll do red lips. Tone down that red a bit. Let me dry that real quick. <clears throat> seven millimeter PC 1MR Posca pin in light blue. And 
Getting them with the white Posca pen. Do that with blacks. Let's just do a little doodling. Posca pen. <clears throat> and let's see. I think we want to try some orange. Go back to the black one. Probably should have watched that one because there's the <clears throat> the title, but we'll we'll fix that one too. And let's see. We'll go back to the Stedler. And then we want <clears throat> this is the Jane Davenport paint over pen. We want to put a little bit more white back in. And I have 
a white gel pen. We're going to see if we can put the highlights in the eye. It's not really showing. And we'll go back in and fix that. Um, let's see, I've just gone over the title, but we'll use the Posca pen. Dry that real quick. And this is the red Posca pen. rid of the pupil with that white so I'll just go and put some of it back in oh I just <laughs> I just uh, smeared the red Okay, there we go. Alright. Then, let's see, what else can we do to her? Uh, I think we're going to... This is a Stabilo All Pin. And when you add water to it, it um, works like a watercolor. I'm just going to put some of that in here. And let it bleed out. Okay, back with the paint over pen. Is that dry up there? Hang on, let me dry this bottom part. <clears throat> Because um, when you're working on the tea bags, one thing you have to be careful of, any of this that's on your um, mat, your craft mat, even with this clear gesso on it, um, 
it will still seep through your bag wherever that water is. So if you move your bag, you might end up with this where you don't want it. But the other good thing about it, um, if even if you don't have the gesso on it, you can usually get it off by just adding water. Um, but when the gesso's on there, it's easier. So we're going to and highlights again. And I think, I think she's done. Um, I don't think I need to add anything else. So that's, that's one way that you can do a tea bag um, without having to draw. Um, and I'm going to do a couple more videos just to um, give you some more ideas. I think I'm going to add some of this right here. Um, so that one is finished and um, people have asked me what I do with them. Uh, I have a journal that I keep them in if I'm really in love with them uh, and I'll only have a few of those. Uh, I put them, I use gel, uh, matte gel, not gel, matte medium and I add them to a 5x7 piece of watercolor paper and then I swap them out in a frame on my wall and some people have wanted to buy and and I mount them on the watercolor paper and I sell them so um, that's what I do with them but I just think they would make a beautiful journal um, when your journal's finished it's full of all this beautiful art so anyway that's that one and she's all finished uh, and just check back and we'll be doing another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.